This is Dr. Rudy Maurice. We are inside the Miami Dolphin Training Facility in Bevy, Nova Southeastern University. We have the opportunity to interview Marcus Thickman. Man, one of the Miami Dolphins' fastest players. We're going to ask him about his background and what he had to overcome to reach where he is today. You came a long way, man, yeah. and from being uh, undrafted. And, and, and this year, when the Dolphins give you a break, in January when you came in, and you just came out and proved yourself. Yeah. Uh, do you think it was just luck, blessing of the Lord, <laughs> or do you think it was just discipline, hard work? You know what? I don't really believe in luck. You know, like I'm, I'm a very spiritual guy, so I think it's definitely a blessing from the Lord. Um, definitely discipline, a lot of hard work. You know, a lot of ups and downs. You know, uh, it was, I, th I think mainly it was my humble beginnings. You know, I didn't have anything growing up. I always wanted to be here. This was my dream since I was a kid. And um, once I once I had that vision, that focus, nothing, nothing, you know, turned me from it. I was in a, a real bad car accident. You know, and that that really set me on the right path. Because before then, you know. Um, I was doing a lot of crazy things, hanging around the wrong group of guys, and you know that kind of steered me right and got me in the right direction. Uh, I know it was very painful for you, and since this happened, people are calling you. Uh, you receive a lot of death threat and yeah. you know things like yeah. that. Uh, and I know this is very painful. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what did you learn from that? Oh, I definitely learned, you know, just not to be a, a follower, you know, because I was—that's what I was doing. I was following my friends. You know, they told me to take the van in the first place. I listened, you know. Uh, it was, it was, I just shouldn't have listened, you know. I just got to be a leader and, and, and follow my own mind, you know. Um, you know, and life is, life is short, you know. Uh, you know, a death came from that accident. You know, I took some, somebody else's, somebody else's kid, you know. Um, so, I, I definitely, it was definitely a learning experience for me. Now, how do you prepare to, to, to do what you do? I take a, a lot of Epsom salt baths, you know, to keep, <laughs> <laughs> to keep my body, uh, you know, loose from, away from the aches and pains and soreness. Uh, it's, it's, it's mainly mental, though, you know, because this game takes a, a toll on you mentally. We do a lot of meetings, a lot of hitting in practice. Uh, on the field, is it's hot, you know, uh, and you just got to really just be focused. You got to, your mental game got to be on point. If it don't, you can easily break down, you know, and everything else will fall off. Fall off. So you just got to stay strong mentally. Do you think your size is a, is a, is a problem? No, not at all, not at all. It's, it's, it's a lot of smaller guys in the league. Uh, Devon Best is a smaller guy. Wes Welker, you know, is a smaller guy, and they're doing great things in this league. Um, I don't necessarily think of size. You know, if you got heart, you got the speed, you got the talent and the abilities to do it, then, you know, any, anybody can do it. We got Darren Sproles. He's smaller than me, you know, but he's having a great year as well and has had a successful career. So it's definitely not size. It's, uh, it's all about your work ethic, work ethic, determination, and your heart. Um, besides being a running back, Marcus is also a kick returner, and this is this requires a lot of discipline and training for this and a lot of courage. What is the secret if there is one? Uh, well, you know, I, I use my size to my advantage. You know, they, they all, all the guys are bigger. You know, like you said, they, they come down full speed and it's hard to, to stop, you know, on a dime at full speed. So when they come at me fast, I give them one move, they're going that way, I'm going the other way, you know. So it's all about time and space in those returns, you know. Once you catch the ball, you see everything, your guy's blocking for you and, you know, it's not, it's not one man game, but you know, I, I do make a pe few people miss, and I, I gotta, I gotta give forward. <laughs> Marcus, I am a physician. That's what I do uh, on a daily basis, and I see a scar on your forehead, on your neck. Is that because of the something that happened while you're playing, or is something that happened? Uh, it's actually, happened just playing football on the streets, just being a little bonehead kid. You know, that's what happens. <laughs> so you have a lot of young um, kids uh, who, who actually aspire. Uh, to become football players, uh, uh, what kind of message uh, that you like to um, to, uh, to send out to them? Never give up on your dreams, no matter what it is, no matter what the odds are maybe against you, no matter what obstacles you face. You know, always just keep pressing forward. You know, uh, like I had a lot of disadvantages in my life, and you know, no matter what what cards I was dealt, you know, I always tried to make the best of it. You know, uh, things are not always gonna go your way. You know, there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs, make more downs in my life. But you know, you just gotta stay strong. You gotta keep God first. You know, that's 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 one thing that kept me grounded. I kept God first kept my faith strong stayed in church and um, like my parents neither one of them graduated from high school you know uh, and I was the first one to graduate from high school and from college so you know just staying in school getting that education because you never know what may happen you know a lot of kids do inspire to, to play sports but that doesn't work out you got to have a plan B so definitely uh, stay in school and uh, take it serious because it goes by fast. Marcus thank you so much man. No problem. Thank and you. Good luck man. Thank you. Appreciate it. I hope that you have enjoyed this interview with Mark Thickman. I'd like to thank the Miami Dolphins for making it possible. See you next time. Thanks.